Oh. I can't help thinking that I have I have made a mistake. I, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have bought this car. Right, so today is the day I'm going to be finding out if my Jaguar has gotten through its MOT. It's been away at a specialist for the past few weeks and so I've been waiting very patiently, very anxiously actually, to see if it can be saved. So in my last video, I showed you that my Jaguar had failed its MOT, largely because of rust. The garage told me that it's potentially not worth saving and maybe it's just best to scrap it altogether. But what they didn't realize is that my fiance, Katie, wants to be driven to the church for our wedding in the Jag. Now because of this, and because of the fact that our wedding is actually in March, obviously I wanted to get the car fixed. However, because the MOT result was so damning and this garage didn't seem particularly interested in carrying out the repairs or helping me out, I decided I should go and get a second opinion. Okay, well I'm on my way to drop the poor Jaguar off at a different garage for a second go at the MOT, where either they can confirm what the last garage said, which is probably most likely, or maybe, just maybe, they can give me some better news. Okay, well the car's been dropped off. They're going to do a retest and then give me a call back later today. So I've just heard back from the garage and well, no surprise, they've just failed the Jag on its MOT again. However, interestingly, they haven't failed it on rust. They said that the rust, oh, nice and close. They said that rust isn't close enough to the prescribed area for it to be an MOT fail but obviously it will still need welding in the future. But for now, at least, this seems like great news. On the flip side though, they have found the headlight to be faulty and say that that will likely need replacing now. So yeah. So come to think of it, it's kind of good and bad news. The rust is still there. It's not gonna go anywhere, it's not going away. But at least in this garage's opinion, it's not enough to fail it on MOT now however they have now failed it on a light issue and so the car is going to need a replacement headlight and well if they can't find a used unit i dread to think how much that's going to cost so i suppose at this point it's it's kind of like the doctor saying well great news we're not going to need to amputate your foot but we will need all of your toes. So in light of the most recent MOT, I've asked the garage to do the work that's needed to get it through. In an ideal world, I'd love for them to get all the advisories done now while it's in uh, as well, including the rust, but they said that they wouldn't be able to get that done in time if we want to use the car for the wedding in March, which of course we do. So their recommendation was just to get the essential bits, i.e. the major failures on the MOT, sorted so that's some suspension bits and a replacement driver side headlight i have to be completely honest with you i'm a little bit worried about this one i feel like i might have bidden off a little more than i can chew i'm in a little bit of a tricky position where i've already spent more money than i wanted to and had actually planned for on the jag and now we're in the situation where actually without an mot it's basically worthless and of no use to me either so i have to spend more money to get it through. And what if it costs an arm and a leg to get it just through this MOT without the advisories? And then what if it needs loads more spending on it after that? I keep trying to tell myself that I'm doing good charity. I'm doing God's work. It's a really rare early V8 Jaguar S-Type. There was, well, not many made to start with and there's even fewer left now. If I don't spend this money, then there'll be one less of these special cars on the road. It's a truly wonderful car too, supremely comfortable, it makes people smile, and it's full of charming quirks that you, you don't and you'll probably never see on newer cars. Of course, this is my job too. I make money by talking to you about these cars, and in one sense, every time something goes wrong, there's some content that can be made out of it. However, the truth of the matter is, that's not what I want to be doing. I want to be taking these cars out, taking them on unlikely, crazy adventures, and celebrating them with you. That's what I wanna be doing with all the cars that I own and will ever own. So this battle is going on in my head. It's like, basically, I don't wanna spend any more money on this Jag, but I don't really have a choice. And also, 
you know, it's a good thing that I'm doing it. But I think it's a necessary evil. We'll, we'll get it through the MOT and I guess it might cost a fair bit and it might need more spending on it after, but at least then we'll have another year where this car can be used. And so here we are, today is the day. I've just had a call from the garage this morning. They've retested the Jag finally, and it has passed its MOT. And we've had the all green, the all clear to go and pick the car up. So I'm super excited. Let's go and do that right now. So now that we're actually picking up the Jag, it's been, I think, just over three weeks since I, I dropped it off. Uh, it seems that these early 1999 model S-types are particularly difficult to source parts for, but needless to say, it's actually, it's been pretty stressful and anxiety provoking because I think as I mentioned before, you know, the Jaguar at the moment is essentially my business. It's my only car that I create content around and um, yeah, without it, off the road for three weeks i've not been able to create any content with it and not make any money so it's been a little bit stressful i have to say i'm a little bit stressed about what bill is going to be facing us but nonetheless we're, we're 20 minutes out just a 20 minute drive and we'll finally be reunited with our beloved jag Okay, well, I imagined this moment to be one of relief and joy, um, but it's not exactly gone to plan, and I can't help thinking that I have I have made a mistake. I, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have bought this car. The car has passed its MOT. It's legal to drive for another year, but the advisories list is still quite literally as long as my arm. And now my, my bank account is, is empty. I expected to have to spend money on this car to get it through the MOT, I mean, I agreed with myself that that was the only real option, but I guess I just wasn't quite expecting the bill that I just received, especially after speaking with these guys on the phone over the past few weeks. I had no indication it had sort of spiraled that far out of control. And that is a new rattle that wasn't there before I dropped the car off. I feel a bit annoyed at myself because I feel like previously I've made some pretty good and profitable car buying decisions but this one now i'm really not so sure i can pull it off it's just so disappointing because i've not had this car on the road for most of the time that i've owned it and i love driving it but now there's this new knocking coming from the back all of the clonks that were there before i dropped the car off are still there and so, yes, I've got a year's MOT, but I'm kind of just wondering, it, it, it just, it, it feels like the car's worse than when I dropped it off. The alignment's completely off now. Oh. Okay, so immediately after driving this car again for the first time in pretty much a month, straight away, you just feel such a warm sense of familiarity. I mean, it's a, a car that I bonded with so much on that trip I did from west to east, from Land's End to Ness Point. And I love the car. However, it's bittersweet because now I wonder if it's worth anywhere near what I've spent on it. And also, straight away, I noticed a knocking coming from the back and it seems to be the exhaust. The right tailpipe has come completely loose and is knocking around onto something. And the tracking seems to be completely off it was off a little bit before but seems far worse now maybe due to the new suspension components but i called the garage and said would it be possible to bring it back to just get the exhaust thing fixed and they said 
we didn't touch the exhaust, it's not our problem. So I'm just not having any luck with garages at all or, or with cars at the moment. This, uh, yeah, this is a really tricky one actually. So I need a bit of time to digest this. And so on the next video on the channel, we'll go through exactly everything I've spent on this Jaguar now, how much money I am into the car, because I actually don't know exactly after this myself. So we'll work it all out and, and talk about it. And maybe then I'll have a bit more of an overview and a clearer picture of whether we are sort of hemorrhaging money with this thing or if it's money well spent. But yeah, this is just not quite how I expected today to go, especially after so much waiting. But nonetheless, the car has got an MOT for the year. I'll take the car into some garage tomorrow morning and try and get them to clip the exhaust back in for me so at least I can drive it without being irritated. I've got some new tyres coming for the car uh, from Goodyear and so I think when they get fitted we should be able to resolve the tracking or the alignment as well. But nonetheless we have got the car, it's had an MOT, we've got an MOT for a year and so we should at least be able to use it for the wedding and be able to enjoy it some more. So thank you so much for watching this video. I think it's been a little bit all over the place. It has been for me. And um, well, I'll see you next week and we'll, we'll find out exactly what I have spent. Thanks again so much. and We'll see you very, very soon.